We're past the official peak of hurricane season, though Mother Nature doesn't always get that message. And our first alert, meteorologists still closely monitoring the tropics. In fact, there is a lot of chatter right now of the potential for tropical activity that could spin up over the next few weeks with a storm-battered Florida and, of course, the East Coast possibly in the crosshairs. First alert, Chief Meteorologist Steve Weagle is here standing by to walk us through the potential factors that are leading to these uh, potential storms late season, Steve. Uh, yeah, this is the time of year we just want to be done with it, right. especially after a season like this where we've had so many storms, so many hurricanes have a big impact on Florida. Megan, if you take a look at the graphic, the unofficial peak of hurricane season would be September 10th. But we can get named storms as we get into November and even December. In fact, we can get named storms just about any month of the year. Water temperatures are critical, and they're several degrees above where they should be this time of year. They're running in the mid and high 80s and even low 90s as you get into the northwestern Caribbean. So that's a big factor. And the system that we're watching at this point, which is in the southern Caribbean, typically has one of two tracks. It comes closer to the Gulf of Mexico, or it moves uh, toward the Bahamas and Puerto Rico and then off into the Atlantic and uh, away from us. Here's a look at it. There's not much on the satellite. It's really disorganized, but into the weekend and early next week, we could see something form here that could have a, potentially have an impact on our weather, although it's a low chance. It's something that we definitely have to watch. We say these late season storms, they seem unusual, but it wasn't that long ago we had one here. No, think about it. Only two years ago, mm -hmm. Nicole, we were dealing with Nicole. There's a track of Nicole made landfall around Vero Beach along the Barrier Islands and then moved inland. It was a Category 1 hurricane. And if you take a look back, I took a look back in the last, uh, since 1950, and you can see about five to six tracks that moved across Florida. Some actually made landfall twice. These are November hurricanes that made landfall in Florida. So it's not out of the question to get a hurricane landfall late in the season. So that's why we're going to be watching this one. So don't toss out all those hurricane supplies just yet. Hold no. on to them a little longer. Yes. We'll be tracking this. We're hoping for a bus, but we know you'll be watching it, Steve.